Hey guys, it's General Heat here, and today I've got a, a pretty short video for you guys today, but I hope you guys find it interesting. So, in Halo 3 ODST, as you know, the Elite Plasma Rifle, or the Blue Plasma Rifle, uh, is normally absent from the game, as in it's not there. Instead, it was replaced by the Brute Plasma Rifle, or the Red Plasma Rifle. However, uh, you know, while it may seem like it's been totally replaced, it's actually still um, in the game a little bit. And what I mean by that is it's hidden in the game files. Uh, there's like unused tags for the plasma rifle on two missions in ODST. And those two missions are Teori Plaza, which we're on right now, and NMPD HQ. Which uh, is kind of surprising because I can see Teori Plaza having the plasma rifle. Because, you know, there's a lot of dead elite bodies here. But. And then PDHQ, there's no elites on that mission, like no dead elites at least, because you never see a live elite in ODST, only dead ones. Uh, but, yeah, it's just pretty odd. And, you know, I, I thought like Mombasa Streets would have it for sure, because you do find a lot of dead elite bodies on that mission. But, nope, not a, not a single, just no uh, plasma rifle. Oh, and don't mind this uh, syringe on the ground, that's a uh, little mod I've been working on that you'll see in a future video, most likely. It'll be pretty funny. <laughs> But that's another video. Anyways, the plasma rifle in this game, um, like I said, it's a very simple mod to bring it out. All, literally, all you gotta do is just change your starting weapon to, uh, to spawn with the plasma rifle. That that's it. It's it's already there in the game. It's all complete. You know, it's one of the more complete cut contents in ODST or any Halo game. Cause you know it, it's there from Halo 3. It's identical to the Halo 3 version. There's nothing really special about it. It's um, yeah, it's just the regular elite plasma rifle, the blue plasma rifle from Halo 3. Uh, what's interesting is that, you know, I I always thought, well, see the blue pl brute plasma rifle is supposed to have a higher rate of fire and do more damage than the uh, the elite plasma rifle. But as you can see here, it's they're almost like identical to each other actually. The, the rate of fire is basically the same. They, they overheat at about the same rate. And damage, I think maybe the Brew Plasma Rifle does do a little bit more damage, but overall it's almost the same. Like in Halo 3 ODST, the, the regular Plasma Rifle still functions pretty well as a one-handed weapon. You know, back in, the, um, back in Halo 3, regular Halo 3, usually you wouldn't use the Plasma Rifle by itself you would dual wield it, and that would make it pretty effective. But in Halo 3 ODST, as you can see, it's actually rather pretty good as by itself. It's Like I said, it's almost as powerful as the Brute Plasma Rifle, which is supposed to be powerful enough to be used as a standalone weapon. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's... It's not the Elite Plasma Rifle that's different in ODST. It's, it's just a Brute Plasma Rifle that's not much different from the Elite version. And um, here on NMP HQ, the plasma rifle is still identical to the one on Teori Plasma. So it's neither one is any different at all. Both the exact same. And you know, I, I checked all the um, missions, and I'm quite positive these are the only two missions where you can actually you can't actually acquire it normally in gameplay without modding, but it does exist there. Buried deep in the game files. Cut from Halo 3 ODST. My guess is that at one point, they were planning on having, you know, live elites in this game. And I guess, you know, as an ODST, you're supposed to fight alongside them. And, you know, perhaps... Perhaps they were supposed to wield the regular plasma rifles. You know, you fight against the Brutes together. You know, ODSTs and elites against the Brutes or the rest of the Covenant. So I guess that's why they exist. Uh, but I guess at some point in Halo 3 ODST's development, Bungie decided to to cut out the um, plasma rifles and most most of the elites as well. But yeah, so I hope you guys did find this video to be interesting. Um, you know, we got a lot of other cool videos coming out soon. But if you did find it interesting, make sure to leave a like and you know leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else you want me to check out. And as always, make sure to make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of other cool videos, like I just said, coming out soon. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, I just wanted to mention that this video was brought to you in part by Raid Max Dracon Gaming Chairs. They sent me one recently, and it's 
it's pretty awesome. Like I've never had one before. It's my first one, and I like it a lot. You know, I wish I got it sooner, actually. But yeah, you know, you should guys should uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll put the the link to the to their website in the description below in this video. So uh, just you know, check it out. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time.